Okay guys, so PTTP is here in London still. That's probably going to be the last one of the day. We're here at Charing Cross. It's one that gets done quite a lot, I know. I've done it twice myself now. But it's one that, you know, the station just doesn't seem to learn at all. So, um, yeah, each interaction, each time uh, an auditor comes here, it seems to just go badly. Um, but yeah, so we got the uh, I Am Good Citizen came here. Um, quite a new channel. I did post it on my community page. Well worth checking out um, that video, particularly. Uh, he ended up getting. But I won't spoil it for you, but um, I'll leave a link in the description. But yeah, so. Oh, this is, so it's just off the double yellow lines there, I'd say. Maybe a tiny bit on it, but not too bad. All these little electric cars. And then we get the uh, usual Charing Cross parking on a pavement and on double yellow lines. Not good. Um, yeah, there's more police vehicles than that parked up that way as well. But, yeah, not good. It's always really bad around here, guys, for this. I know it's uh, quite central, parking is a nightmare, but you know, they've got a yard and they've got a yard for a reason. They've got underneath parking, um, so like, there's not really any excuse for it. Yeah, not bad, thank you. It just looked like you were filming. Pardon? It just looked like you were filming yeah. that police gate. Yes. Well, not the gate, but the stood here filming, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I just wondered if there was anything particular you wanted to film. Um, I mean, I'd like to suggest that that van shouldn't be parked there, really. To okay. It. Um, it's quite bad if there's, like, in general, we've got one up there that's slightly on yellow lines, only just. We've got some vehicles up there and some around the corner down there. Yeah all on single or double yellow lines, all parked up. I don't know why they are, to be honest. I don't know what they are doing. It happens a lot around here, though, doesn't it? Unfortunately. Uh, I can imagine. And it's, uh, it feels like it's kind of a one rule for the not for me sort of thing. Well, there, there is actually a different rule for police parking, but... Um, for like emergency say, season... It depends yeah, on the... For emergency season incidents, of course. Yeah. Um, but but, I, I really don't know what's going on yeah. with them. But um, there, there is a front office around the front. And yeah, They would be able to speak to... Uh, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll pop in a report to them in, uh, in a bit. Thank you. Yeah, got a bit of capital money in the bank. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, the culprits for the bad parking on the double yellow lines and on the pavement. So those three that just came out then. Oh, I've just noticed as well, they've also got the uh, McDonald's cups in the vehicle as well. Looks like they're heading out on an emergency. So 
There we go, guys. Apart from the uh, ever ongoing uh, parking issues around Charing Cross. Yeah, it seems to be much better than it was. That's for certain. Which is good. Apparently they've had uh, enough audits now. <laughs> they know. So you've got a bit of a look from that constable who was driving into the thing there. But yeah, I've had a few like, funny looks and stuff which, hey, they're entitled to do. But they haven't come around and abused their powers or anything like that. So yeah, it's just a bit of a dodgy parking issue now. But it is getting much, much better. But, yeah, as you can see, you got that one parked down there, which is on double yellow lines. And then you got that one over there is also parked on the wheel lines and very close to a junction. That one's not a livery vehicle, but I know that it is a police vehicle because I went and had a look at it last time. We've got Apex House there. You filming that for me? Pardon? Where are you filming that? Taking some pictures. Please film it. Yeah. So why are you filming it? Because I like it. Right, well you're filming a police building. Right. It could be security implications, that's why I'm speaking to you. Who are you, sorry? I'm a police officer. Are you? There you go. Have you got your ID card? Yeah, that's enough for you. Have you got so, your warrant number or anything? You don't need oh. my warrant number. Well, I do, because you're engaging there with you me go. as a police officer, so I, I actually need to see who you are. There Otherwise, you go. I've just shown you. Well, okay. no, because I didn't get a chance to actually see it and well, read it, did I? Okay. So then you, can I'm you announce who you are, please? Why are you filming? That's all I'm asking. Well, can you announce who you are? I'm a police officer. Yeah, can you announce who you are? Can officer. you announce your warrant number, please? All right, 202068. Thank you. That wasn't difficult, was it? No, it wasn't. All right, there we go. That's all you had to do. So, can you answer why you're filming this? No, I don't answer questions, please. Okay. Well, just to make you aware, this is a police field, building. Okay? I'm aware of that, yeah. Thank you. All right, and you are security implications. So someone may come up and stop you later. They may do. Okay. So what I'm asking you, all right? Because I've got my security to think of, as well as other people obviously in Obviously, you can understand why we're obviously alert, you know, being alerted by you filming, because it's quite unusual, a behaviour, to start filming a a building that uh, belongs to a police state well belongs to the police as well as a police station there so of course we need to check it out just in case there's any reason why you would be here security breaches that kind of thing Do you understand that i disagree okay well we have to do it we have to be mindful obviously of uh, officer safety staff safety members of the public that may be coming in and sorry? out as well i'm a police officer as well and your warrant number yeah two zero three four four one have you got your warrant card with yes you, i have certainly thank you Bear with i appreciate us. it see that's, that's professional that's how it's done from the get-go no need to be difficult about it is it i showed you my warrant card yeah but you didn't announce who you were properly we I don't, well you do because you're engaging with me as an officer uh, sergeant susan marsh thank yes, you appreciate officer. that okay but can you understand Over. why obviously we've come out of this building and you're there filming it um, of course, we're going to be going, well, why is this person filming the building? Is there any reason, etc.? The same as if you, you know, because oh, it's every, a police every, building. Yeah, for everybody. I mean, it's, it's no different than any other business. If I were filming any business, a business owner would want to know why. Of course of they course, would. Yes. But that's, that's all it is. There's no, I wouldn't say there's any greater risk to you than if I were filming, what's that, the Institute of Chinese well, no, Medicine? We wouldn't be carrying out our duty. Do well, no, you don't. But, and that's we wouldn't fine. be carrying out our duty if we yeah. didn't. Or CR approach somebody who was filming a building yeah, and say, Is there any reason why you're filming? We obviously need to be aware if there's a security breach. We also need to make sure that um, officers are safe coming in and out of the building, as well okay. as police staff and members of the public. And that's yeah. why we're asking. I, I do understand yeah. that you have a concern and you have every right to ask. Yeah. Absolutely, you do. That's fine. Uh, you know, are you no, willing to give no, your details? No issues to us? with that. Not really, no. no? Uh, but, um, but yeah, like, obviously, no issue with you coming to ask. It's not a problem. And what I do have an issue with is when you come to me as a police officer and you're difficult about identifying who you are, that I do have an issue with. Like, yes, okay. you gave me a warrant card, you flashed it. I don't have a chance to read that. That's, you know, any, I could carry one of those around, go around and flash it and say, I'm a police officer. 
as you tell our family to eBay, whatever one that looks alike, you have to identify properly. This is, what this, is, this is what happens. This is what happens with Wayne okay. Cousins, isn't it? This is how these we're things escalate. We're not, we're but, not no, because that. it's officers that I don't identify properly and go around flashing a badge saying right, sir, I'm this, I'm that. We're not discuss it's not that safe for anybody, is it? You're we've not, shown, I didn't think you were saying you're standing here. Oh, there you go. Filming. That's why we questioned you. I okay. asked you about it. Okay. okay. Well, it's got nothing to do with Wayne Cousins. Well, I'll show you more. I think I You asked for a warrant number later. You flashed it, and I asked you to. Let me read it. So you're filming this building innocently, then, are you? Pardon? You got no. I told you. I, don't, I told you. I don't answer questions, please. Okay. Uh, anyway, where was I? No. As I said, I don't answer questions to the police. Yeah, so yeah, it's just when I thought it was going uh, better. Stop to uh, literally just take a picture of the columns and the uh, sign saying Apex House. And uh, yeah, that's when the issue starts. So you got uh, parliamentary and diplomatic protection van there denoted by the red colour. So I do know that the uh, PADP are based here at Apex House uh, because I've had interactions, or well, some of them are anyway, not all of them, but I don't know if any of you remember PC Chris Hemsworth from the MOD building. Um, but yeah, that was... I think he was attached to Apex House. I think he, I think it was him who told me he was. I don't know. It kind of get lost. It all kind of blur into one after a while. Well, they got their uh, gates back up and working by the looks of it. That was just used, they were just using this for quite a while. But yeah, it appears that they uh, actually got the gate back up and working, which is good. But uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a shame, guys. It's just uh, as I thought it was going better here at Charing Cross. I have to get those at one. One funny little fella, you know, the sergeant was better, I didn't massively like her tone, but at least she identified with the warrant number and presented her warrant card when requested. But yeah, the male constable was just being overly difficult about it, there was just no need for it. Yeah, guys, I'm uh, going to wrap that one up there. I'm going to head on home. And I shall see you guys on the next one, whenever that is. Until then, guys, stay safe and turn up.